Hello, Bella babes. I'm back. It's your girl, Brown Girl Bella, bringing you lips, lashes, and luxury. Today is a special get ready with me because you know what we've got. Mother is in the house. Yes, I picked up the new Mothership number eight in the limited edition packaging. <laughs> and I also bought Divine Rose, the first version in the limited edition packaging. Come on back, cause we're gonna have an explosion of Divine Rose in just one moment. Okay, a little bit of confession here. Yes, I bought Divine Rose the original version of it just because it came in the limited edition pink packaging oh don't we love this don't we love this packaging don't we love it we do we do we do we love it and here are the colors from divine rose the original version and if you're saying Shannon we know we've seen this before don't you have Divine Rose yeah I do this one was given to me by mother herself I went all the way to New York and she had a giveaway of the original mothership when it first released and I was able to get my hands on it and I got it. So yes, I have this version. And the <laughs> limited edition version. So I have both. Okay. Am I going to use both? Probably not. I will probably stick to using this one just because it was given to me by mother herself. So this is the one that I'm going to be using in the demonstration today. And this one I will keep pristine in its packaging. Although the packaging did come a little beat up. <laughs> so I'm going to wrap this up and baby it because this will be my collector's piece. I really, really love this palette and I feel like I should keep it as pristine as possible. So I did notice that on the new version, she did label it correctly, Mothership 7, Divine Rose. On my original box, it just says Mothership Divine Rose. So definitely want to keep this box because it's not even labeled. But this one, if you'll notice, does have the new labeling. It is a Mothership 7. She labeled it Divine Rose and has all of the other particulars that you have known Mother to do in her motherships. But I just noticed that as well, that the original box did not have the mothership number on it, but the new one does. So she did go back and relabel it as well. So that's another reason why I want to keep them both as well. But I know you didn't come for me to talk about mothership seven. You want to hear about mothership number eight. This one is the one that has everybody talking. And I'm telling you now, if you got your hands on the limited edition packaging, you got such a treat. Let me share with you what it looks like. Let's check out the new Mothership number eight. And trust me when I tell you, she snapped making this one it is a pink lover's dream and for my sorority sisters this one right here sexual terrestrial vr sexual terrestrial 
it is like we have died and gone to Akaland. Look at that pink and green shift. I think she's calling it a trichrome because there is a little bit of gold in there as well. But all I see is pink and green. That is amazing. And I've already tried putting it on the lids. It just does not do the color justice. You have to definitely see this thing up close to really appreciate it. But my gosh, it is beautiful. She really did her thing. So now I know you want to see the swatches. So we're going to get into it. The first one is called Skin Show Rose Opal. Oh my God. The second one is called Naked Blush. This one is Eleganza. Next we have Bronze Rosé 005. And the last one on the first row Gold Lust 001. Just stunning. Last row, Extreme Burgundy. My word, Divine Dust, Rose Seduction, which is determined to be not eye safe. It's a pigment, but I used it for my eye and had no problems. But that is Rose Seduction. VR Sextra Terrestrial. Yes, I did my pinky for that one. Y'all know what time it is. Uh, oh my God. And the last one, Astral Pink Moon. There we have it. Those are all of the colors in Divine Rose 2 Mothership 8. My gosh. Stunning. Beautiful. Drop the mic. Drop the mic. Drop the mic. I don't know what she could come up with after this. But I'm going to let you know right now, I'm here for it. I am here for it all. So I want to just have some fun today. I want to try on all of these colors. Um, I want to do combinations with Mothership 7 and 8. We're gonna get into it all, but first, let's prime this face, prime those eyes, and then we're gonna get right into it. Okay, the foundation is on. I'm going to prime my eyes using the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer. I'm gonna use that to just blanket the eyes.
Okay, now that we have the eyes primed with concealer, we're going to start off with the Mothership 8. I'm going to go in with Naked Blush first. And I'm going to use that as my first transition color. Very smooth, goes on very evenly. Everything that you know Mother 2 have done with her shadows, she has done here with this color. Very even, one swipe. And it blends out very easily. We're going to go in now using the same brush. This was the Sonia G Mini Booster. And we're going to go in with Extreme Burgundy. And we're going to just take that underneath the first color. Just to deepen up the crease. And again, I just dip my brush in very slightly. And as you can see, that pigmentation came right on through. Beautiful. And then we're going to go in using my finger. We're going to go into Divine dusk and we're just going to pop that onto the lid using my finger and I'm really going to just pack it on so you can have that impact And then using the Sonia G Flat Definer, we're going to go to that first color, Skin Show Rose Opal. And we're going to pop that right in the inner corner. And then for the lower lash line, we're going to use those same two colors that we started off with. Again, with the flat definer to go underneath the lid. Okay, that is the first eye look completed. Let's go on over here to the second eye. And we're gonna do all shimmers on this eye. Starting off with my Sonia G Jumbo Blender. We're going to go in and use this to put Rose Seduction all over the eye.
Then we're going to use Eleganza, same brush. And we're going to concentrate that on the lid. On the lower lash line, we're going to use our Refer 03 and we're going to pick up Bronze Rose 005 and we're going to put that right underneath the lower lash line. Run that all over and then in the inner corner that's right we're going in sextra terrestrial same brush and we're going to pop that in the inner corner There's the second eye. All right, now we're going to take all of this off and we're going to go in with the last two shades and we're going to do that and use Mothership number seven to complete the third and final look. Okay, since this is going to be my final look for the end of the video, I'm going to go ahead and combine Mothership 7 and Mothership 8 Divine Rose 1 and 2 for my final look. First, we'll go in with Mothership 7 Divine Rose, the original, and I'm going to take Valoria, which is the lightest matte shade. And with my classic crease, I'm going to go ahead and start to put that into the crease and blend it upward to the brow bone. that we have our first shade laid down with Valoria. I'm going to go in with that same brush, the Sonia G Classic Crease, and we're going to use Extreme Mahogany. Just going to tap that in, and we're going to use that to define the crease even more. And I'm just focusing on that outer corner. Now we're going to go back to Mothership 8 to finish off the look. We're going to get a flat brush. This is the Sonia G Soft Shader. And we're going to go into Gold Lust 001. I'm going to pop that all over the lid. And then with our Rupper 03, that pencil brush, we're going to take the last shade, which is Astral Pink Moon. And we're going to put that in the inner corner as our little spotlight. So I just want to finish off with the new 
newly packaged because they're not new. This is the pink uh, set, the peach set, excuse me, of the Pat McGrath lip products that she did along with the Divine Rose. They're in the Divine Rose packaging. These are not new products. These are all repackaged. The only thing that I had that's new to me, but not new to all of you, is the lip gloss and the uh, pencil. Everything else I had, so I do have Christy. As you know, I won that from Pat McGrath. So I have the original packaging of Christy, and now I have the limited edition packaging from Mother Pat in Christy. So we're going to start off with her lip pencil in Buff. Again, this is not new, although it is new to me. This is her pencil that she's already had in buff. I'm going to use this to line my, lip, my lips. Very nice subtle look. We're going to top it off with Christy. Again, very subtle. And then last but not least, we're going to use her Lust Gloss, and this is in Peach Perversion. And this is the completed look. I love this packaging. I love the product inside, the colors, the shades. They're all up my alley. They're very blendable. They're creamy. It's just one of the best palettes she's ever made. And that is giving high praise because I love every single one of my motherships. But I have to say, Number eight is really fastly becoming my favorite. I love all the shimmers in here. Again, this Sextra Terrestrial, oh my God. Oh my God. One more time for everybody. That shade is just magnificent. It's a tri-color, so there is pink, green, and I believe gold in here as well but all i can see is the pink and green and it's just it's just magnificent i'm gonna do a look with just that all over the lid i'm sure of it i don't even want to put anything in the crease i just want it all over my eyes this color is amazing but all the colors are really beautiful i think it's a great compliment to her original mothership divine rose I'll hold them both up together so you can see. I'm going to try not to blind you as I do this. Divine Rose two is on the top divine rose the original is on the bottom as you can see it's a very nice compliment to the colors i did this final look using both of these palettes i think they are fantastic together they're fantastic separately she just snapped when she did this and i am here for it 
let me hold up the limited edition packaging again just because you all know how much I love me some pink <laughs> but here are the motherships this again is eight this is seven both in the limited edition packaging I can't say enough about this palette they are beautiful you're going to enjoy them if you like something just very neutral but with a little bit of pizzazz you're probably going to love the seven if you are like me and you like to be adventurous every now and then and add some pop of color you're going to love the eight get them both if you can get them both in the limited edition packaging if you can let me know what you bellas think about everything in the comment section below and until next time you have been bellified. Take care.